right before the read to ruins, we also found that there were shortcuts. So we don't have to look at all six pieces. When we did congruence, we said side, side, side was a shortcut. Side, angle, side. We had angle, side, angle. Um, angle, angle, side. And hypotenuse leg were all legal shortcuts. We also tried side, side, angle, but we said that one didn't work. That was our donkey postulate because we didn't want to accidentally read it backwards. We also had angle, angle, angle. Angle, angle, angle didn't work because we said we couldn't ensure congruence. It ended up being the same size, but possibly a different shape, or I mean, same shape, but possibly a different size. One being just a larger copy of the other. Well, that's what we just said was our idea for similarity. So there are going to be similarity shortcuts as well. Similarity shortcuts that we're going to use. And the first one is angle, angle, angle. Now, however, we said before, if I have two pairs of angles that are the same, well, I already know that the third one must be the same by our third angles here. So I really don't need all three angles. All I need are two. So I can get rid of that, and my shortcut is actually called angle, angle. Now, because of that, um, so that's where the triple A comes from. That means that angle, side, angle, 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 side, that all runs down into being a angle-angle similarity shortcut. Now, these other two, side-side-side and side-angle-side, well, guess what? Those are the exact same for similarity, except instead of the side needing to be congruent, the sides just need to be proportional. So that's our three similarity shortcuts that we are going to end up using here for this. Now, how does that work in this? Well, let's look at an example. The first thing you always want to look for, do I have two pairs of angles that are congruent to each other? And yes, in this first one, I definitely do. So I'm going to have angle-angle similarity. So by angle-angle, I'm going to have triangles that are congruent, or I mean similar. similar. So if I go RQS for this triangle, RQS, 49 to 92 to the one angle I don't know. i got to go the same order here, so that would be triangle VTU for that. Over here, I have one pair of angles, 70 degrees, that appear to be congruent, but I don't have anything else. Well, however, let's look and see what these third angles would be. This would end up being 60 degrees. Well, hey, look, now I have two pairs, my 70s and my 60s, that are congruent to each other. So again, I have angle-angle similarity. So I'm going to say that triangle ABC must be similar to triangle by the ABC 50 to 70 to 60, well, here would be my 50 to 70 to 60. So Z, X, Y for my triangles. All right? Looking at this one, first step again, do I have two pairs of angles that are congruent? Do I have angle, angle? No, I do not. I don't have any angles that I know. The next question I should ask myself then is, maybe do I have all three sides being, uh, being known that I could look for proportions? No, I don't in this case, because I don't know my two sides on the outside. So that won't work. So side, angle, side is my only remaining option. So, let's look. I do have two pairs of sides. Do I have an angle that I know, an angle that's in between? Well, yes. In fact, I very well do. That interior angle is vertical. Those are vertical angles. They must be congruent. Now, if they are similar here, I should look. 16 and 18 come from the same triangle on the left. 16 is the smaller of the two numbers. So it would be proportional with the smaller of the two numbers over here, which is 24. So the 18 goes with the 27. How do you know if they are the same? Always you can just go, can I reduce them? That's my question. Are they the same? Can I reduce them? Yes. I can uh, divide by 8 over here. I get 2 over 3. Divide these by 9, and I get 2 over 3. So yes, they are equal to each other. So I should have triangle. Let's go HJG. HJ was the bigger of the two sides, so I would need to do triangle LJK for the other one. Now, for this triangle over here, what I should look at, again, is an angle and angle? Nope, don't know enough angles. Is it side, side, side? Nope, I don't know these two sides. So it can't be that. So side, angle, side, again, is my only option. Where does my angle go? Well, I'm looking at this little triangle, NOP, versus this big triangle, LMP. Well, take a look. I have the shared angle here of angle P between the small triangle and the big triangle. So. And I know the sides on either side of them. So, the small triangle, NOP, I have side lengths of 4 and 6. And for the big triangle, for 4, B 
being the smaller number, I have 12 and 18, 12 being the smaller. And again, are these equal to each other? If I reduce, I should get 1 over 3 and 1 over 3. So yes, they are equal, so I am similar. So again, by side angle side, which is what I should have over here as well, by side angle side, I have triangle. In this case, if I go, let's go NPO. So NPO, I went along the bigger side to my shared angle. So I need to do the same for the big one. Triangle LPM. There you have it. Similarity shortcut, side, 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 angle, angle, and side, angle, side.